Hello! How's it going everybody? This is a video on CVE 2019-14287. Uh, I'm here with my buddy Caleb because it's dangerous to go alone. So this. this is a vulnerability regarding sudo or the super user do command that you will typically often run and see on Linux to have some administrator privileges run things as root or as another user. And this is in regards to the patch that came in version 1.8.28 that got released today at the time of recording, October 14, 2019. So it's interesting in that the flaw that you might see if you're working that VI sudo or editing etc. sudo is that file there. Um, if you happen to note that you have the ability or the user that you're working with has the ability to run commands, is it? As other users, is that right? Yeah, so it's as all users, not root. It has to specifically have all in the user specification. So in this syntax that they showcase, they have my host here as kind of a prefix, which I haven't seen the need yeah, for in mine. Um, but the username that you're working with, and then in that run as segment that specifies what user they could be, as long as all is in there for whatever case, and then a command that they might be able to run, or again, all, you could manipulate that. When you use tac u or tac tac user to specify what user you're going to run as, you can normally run as another user, but if it has maybe an exclusion for root, as in don't let this user run as root, you can abuse that if you were to specify, let's use a user ID value negative one. Or let's see, you said it's other, what is it? Yeah. Is that two's complement? Is that the thing that does that? Well, I mean, it's, it's just like the, it's two to the 32 minus one. It's the equivalent of negative one. Okay, just because it's wrapped around? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That will actually return zero, which will let you use that root user identifier or user ID, and then we could essentially run commands. So So what John said there, he says something about returning zero. What it's actually referring to, which this the actual uh, CV talks about, but basically when they actually change the UID, so sudo uh, uses the function set UID, um, and there are probably a couple other ones as well, but that whole family of functions to change the user ID of the currently running process to a different user ID, um, and it just passes whatever you give it as the user ID, if you give it a number, to that function. Um, so normally what would happen, because it says all, it doesn't check to make sure that that uh, user actually exists, it just is gonna pass it on, and if it doesn't exist, then set UID will fail, and it will fail. Um, in the case of passing negative one, the actual standard says that set UID will not fail, it will return zero if you pass it negative one. Uh, so what then happens is that it thinks it succeeded um, and it continues on and since sudo itself was running as root, the UID didn't change because that val it wasn't valid and it will just continue on and run your command as root. So that's kind of cool. Um, a neat side effect that John was just hi uh, highlighting there is that uh, because sudo thinks it that it succeeded, um, all the logs will say that it ran as a UID of negative one or 4.2 billion or whatever. All the logs won't actually say root, they'll say that other UID that you passed it. So it's kind of an interesting side effect. So this patch was supposed to be just dropped today for sudo 1.8.28, and I have not updated yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can kind of recreate that and play with it. If I were to check out the version of my sudo, you can see I'm running 1.8.27. So if I were to fire up a user, Let's add, what is it? You want to use temp or something? Sure. That's yeah. what I use on my computer. We were just tinkering with this and we thought like, hey, that'd be cool to just throw in a little video. So, yeah, 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 whatever, that's fine. Now we can vi sudo to edit our etc. sudoers. And I was testing this with the user Doug, so <laughs> let's use temp. And that specification was all, right? Uh, yeah. And so the, in the actual CV, it specifies it in a weird syntax. Yeah. Um, normally, host or the user is first, and then host is second. So I don't know if that's wrong uh, or if there's something else I'm missing okay, there. Okay. Okay. So I'm in looking, your case, you're saying user temp space all, so any host equals, and then that stuff. Let's just use ID as an example. Does that work? Sure. Yeah. Or I mean, command. you might want to put uh, not root in there though. Oh yes, absolutely. You're to do it as root anyway. That's the whole point. Well, let's I guess showcase why that works with a little temporary thing. Um, for those of you that are curious, I'm just looking at uh, seclists.org. If you were to Google simply that CVE number, you should be able to track it down and find some other articles or blogs or stuff talking about it. So let me have this in a showcasing uh, syntax here just so we can understand why or what the vulnerability really does show what it could do, if that makes sense. 
I'm not sure what you mean. But we'll okay. See yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so if I were in a, another user, let's switch to what is it? Su to temp. Yep. And then I'll use his password. So now I am that temporary user. If I were to just sudo, I could run anything, right? So ID. Well, you can just specifically run ID as anyone. Yep. But other commands like who am I would not be able to execute. So I could do that as any user that I particularly wanted to if I wanted to use that as John in my account and I knew that. I could do that without prompting for a password. But if that situation were different, let's exit out, where I had vi sudo and we were specifically excluding root, let's say anyone except that root user can run the id command. That's nice and dandy. Let's switch to temp now. So I could sudo tech user John, and then I could run ID just fine, but I would not be able to use that as the root user, obviously. However, with this vulnerability that we just understood, we can specify a number, yep. tech U and that number sign there. And if we were to use negative one or that like 4.2 billion, you said? Yep. 4.2, yeah, something, right something like there. that. Two to 32 minus one. Negative one, we do end up running that as root. So obviously we don't have as much privilege with that as we would have if in that vi sudo we had a little bit more access and we could just run any command as all users other than that. Oh, sorry, I just had a thought. But yeah, you could finish your thought and then I had an, a question. Swap back I'm to I'm not time. sure if it's actually going to work. Yeah, cool. All right, we'll do some uh, ice breaking. So s sudo tag u negative one. And now we should be able to run bin bash and just get a root shell. You can see my prompt over there. Yep. Cool. I have a question. If mm. you, uh, say if you had, instead of not root, if you did, like, not John, would the same thing work? That's peculiar. If it just says not John, would you then also be able to run as root? I would assume. I think it will work. Yeah. Negative one. And bash root. Cool. It's kind of an interesting thing. Although I guess you would be able to run it as root at that point anyway. Right, right. Maybe Just it's a another exclusion. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't know how much uh, mileage you might get out of this. Maybe you won't particularly see that exact syntax in an etc. sudoers file, but if you ever do, hey, now you know one potential okay. avenue. Yeah, you could take advantage of that with. So let me go ahead and get rid of that temp user <laughs> <laughs> before I accidentally give someone some unintentional access to my machine. But you should, as we kind of discuss, go ahead and update to 1.8.28 as uh, that is released and rolled out. So, cool. Some current events, some cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of quick, small showcase, but I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Okay.